many has it been already? Um, I want to say three. No, it's been more than that. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Welcome back to the game with us. Wesley's trying to figure out this puzzle. Ah, shit. No, but uh, come on, man. You can't make me go all the way fucking back every time. Jeez. Like, is there... Do you not... <laughs> um... Okay, let me see. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, I'm, tr I'm trying to think of an anecdote to just to pass this time by, but I don't really have anything on the top of my um, head. I can maybe... No, Ducky, wait. Just... Just wait one fucking second. I could talk about the time I think I found a dead body. <sighs> yeah, go for it. Okay. So, when I was around 12... Now, just disclaimer, I don't know if I actually did find a dead body, but it was one of those moments where I didn't want to find out. So, uh, so like, um, me, my dad, and my brothers were walking the dogs. Uh, back then we had two dogs, Freckles, my Beagle, and Hershey, which was like this chow mix that we only had for a few years because she unfortunately died very young due to hydration because having a big black dog in the desert is a terrible idea. Um, so... But anyway, this was when... Anyway, uh, so we were walking down and we're walking through the ditch, which you're not supposed to do, but this is the desert. Um, so we did it anyway because we don't get a lot of rain, so it's like, whatever. So walking through the ditch and it like empties out into this like sand wasteland like all of these houses are on top of like these i guess mesa thingies like the 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 dirt would raise up and there's just this like big hole of nothing but dirt and desert so but before that it would go so the so before that the the ditch would go under this bridge and under this bridge were these two tunnels, and the tunnels were dark and spooky, and that was when, um, and that's where, like, gangs would, like, tag, and it was just generally spooky. Anyway, I'll finish it later. Well, I've popped all the balloons. Because uh, I sort of figured uh, out, I saw, like, I figured out how these things at the bottom worked there. I'm yeah. pretty sure I've popped all the balloons. And okay, well, while you're figuring that out, okay, so, spills out into this desert place. And, um, so I decided I was going to be brave and go through these tunnels because generally I didn't like going through the tunnels because they were too spooky. But today I was like, I'm a big kid now. I'm going to go through the spooky tunnels. So I, I, uh, I go through and I get about halfway and I'm starting to get really nervous. Huh. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll carry on. I'm just, that's so weird. Because balloons contain various loot. I got the one balloon, one piece of loot from the balloon, but... Oh! That's so weird. I don't know. Anyway. So, Waffles, stop chewing the chair, you dumb butt. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I get through... Okay. Uh, in, in order to get to the roller coaster, by the way... Um... Uh... Uh, so, at the end of the ride is- Oh, you're supposed to go to the- go back. <sighs> did you press the switch? I did. Okay, so you should be able to get to the roller coaster. <coughs> um, so go to the roller coaster by going left. Okay. There you go. Hooray, the door is open. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm going through the tunnel, and it's getting real spooky. Who are you? I thought the roller coaster had been closed. If you ride it, you have the right to get a photo. Okay. If you ride the roller coaster, I have to climb up. So. Uh, yeah, I think the. Uh, yeah, going up the stairs. So, anyway, so I go up to this box, and it's about like six feet long and about like a foot tall or something. It's a set. It's a statue of Zachary. Well, better. 
Why could I push that statue? I'm sure you can. Maybe you but have to. Why did I? Oh, push I. It? Um. <laughs> Are you remembering something now again after we've done something? No, th this is fine. Because you can always ride the roller coaster again. Was that? Was that? That was it. That was the. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your photo. A photo of you has been found. There's a reason. Oh, I see what's happening. I understand. Yeah. So anyway, so go up to. The I have solved the puzzle in my brain back. My brain basket. Good. Good job. Okay. So anyway, I go up to this box, and I notice that there's something that looks like it's inside the box. And so, I go up to it, and I think I see a sock, and in the sock looks like it's filled with something. Presumably a foot. And the sock is sticking out of this box, and that was when I noped so hard out of that tunnel. <laughs> because, like, for all I know, it could have been a homeless guy sleeping. But it was one of those things that I didn't want to find out. Anyway, that's the story about when I think I found a dead body, or <laughs> I will never know. And you know what? That's okay. I think I'm better off not knowing. That's okay. I mean, dead bodies aren't that much fun anyway. Believe me, I know. <laughs> I've witnessed at least two of them in my lifetime. Oh, God. Uh... Which is, I guess I can tell the one story, but let's get on with this. Okay. Is, is that a photo of the boss and you're right next to him? On a roller coaster? But that's terribly dangerous. Well, at any rate, I guess you're a friend of the boss. You may enter. You're not gonna fight me? Who knows what could happen? Do I just take everything? Yep. A Taurus orb. A Libra orb. A Scorpio orb. A Virgo orb. That's my star sign. Aw. A Capricorn orb. Taurus is mine. And a Gemini orb. Okay. Well, let's steal all the orbs. Anything on the desk? Okay. Well, as is per classic uh, RPG sense, just take everything and run. Mm. Um. Smash all the things. Open all the chests. Yeah. It's all yours now. Piece of evidence meat was found. Okay, so now we take the tie to the to the other place. So <coughs> the first time I, yeah, well, hmm, I'm trying to think which story, which which. Uh, actually, thinking about it now, I think I've seen three dead bodies. Oh no! But let me just think about. Okay, so I'll tell you the one story at least, the one that's I guess that you've already heard mm -hmm. about when I was on the highway. Ooh. Um. So, uh, back home, I was driving uh, back to Pretoria from Valcom. Valcom is my hometown, and Pretoria, which is about a three-hour drive away, is where I studied and worked and blah, blah, blah. And, um... Where are you going? I don't know. You're going to the residential area. Oh, okay, that's just... Why Why? Why didn't I just think of doing that from the get-go? You went to go get the tie. I Yes, I know I have to go to the residential area. I'm being sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the residential area is for residents only. Imagine the panic if intruders stuck into our homes. Okay, I, I think suppose... you need to clip the tie, I think. Um... Or, or not? Uh, go to your inventory? You got the tie, right? Yeah, like you... Um... The necktie. Oh. Yes, I can put on my neck... I can put my tie on here. Good idea. Oh, look at your sprite has a little has a little tie on it. <laughs> That's a nice touch. I like it when they make a little <laughs> bit of changes again. Anyway, so I guess I should be watching this. So yeah, yeah. On oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. If, uh, there is still time to repent your omissions, ungrateful wretches. Crave my pardon immediately, or I will send you back to limbo this instant. Did you hear something? Poor cretins, I am here, right in front of you, ready to send you to hell. So, are you ready to apologize to your father and protector, you band of wimps? There's nothing but an old cat up there. It could be a dangerous cat. It has sharp claws. Yes, and it can spread disease. Have you heard the story of the guy who got scratched by a cat? I hate you! I hate you all! 
But where's that voice coming from? <coughs> Hurts a little. Must be someone who's in a bad mood. Yes, he should take the time to relax and enjoy this place. So flat and quiet. Here we're safe. But that was me! It was I who made all it all like that for you! Are you so also blinded by your pathetic fear of living? This is all rather strange, isn't it? That it is! That is it. That it is! <laughs> oh, sorry. I am going to teach you to respect me! I'm scaring the dog. No. <laughs> oh no, ghosts! Go save them! Yeah, well, we'll save them next time. If we can get there in time. Let's purge these impure beasts and fast. Oh shit, there's a timer. Mm -hmm.